Hurry up, voila. Good, 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 good. Oh, hey, you're back. You're back early. What, what happened with that client person? Well, I saw that client and I sent him on his way. What? Why'd you do that? Because it turns out he was a referral from someone I used to represent back in the waterfront days, back when I was out for, for money. A guy by the name of George Durnley. Sound familiar? Oh, yeah, old George, huh? Why would he send him to you? This guy was a cellmate of Durnley's, and Durnley told him that if he ever gets himself in trouble, I'm the guy to come see, because I can fix things. Could, could, could fix things. That is all in the past tense now, right? Yeah, well, you tell that to the sewer rats of Port Charles, because ever since I got Julie off, everybody thinks I'm back in business. You seem a little better today. I just wish the antibiotics would kick in and maybe the graft would take. It shouldn't be this way, you know. Joe thought what he was doing was best for Neil. Mm -hmm, but was he? Are you going to stay here? Helps Mary. Call me if you hear anything. Dr. Rodriguez, just one five Hey, I've been looking everywhere for you. Why didn't you tell me where you were going? Hi. Thanks for making a house call. <laughs> I wasn't sure if I should come or not. The last time you called, I showed up and... Well, you and Chris were a little busy. Yeah, yeah, sorry about that, but don't worry. Chris oh, isn't you. here. Really? Where is he? Work. Can I get you anything? Coffee? Water? No, no, I'm, I'm fine, thank you. Julie, why don't you tell me what this is all about? I want to make some changes. Cement my place in this town. Well, it sounds like you've given some thought to what we discussed the other day. I have. And? I want Christina back. And I have an idea about how to get things moving in that direction. You feel like sharing that with me? I want to get my old job back at GH. I came to see Neil. Well, you could have told me that. Uh, I have to meet Mary. I, I'll catch you later, Eve. Bye, Victor. I can't believe you left the house without telling me where you were going. I had a session with Neil. You were asleep. Well, would it have killed you to have left a note? I guess not. Well, could you do that next time, please? I suppose so. If it's important to you. It is. Thank you. Fine. Now, how about a hello kiss? Dr. Adams to cardiology. Hello. Hello. Mm. Mm. So, where were you off to? Oh, I have a few errands to run. Oh, good. You know, I have some errands to do myself. I'll go with you. You want to go with me while I take my car in? Sure, why not? Well, you know how slow Sam is. This could be a few hours. Well, I've got nothing better to do. Except spend every waking minute with me. <laughs> Don't let it go to your yeah. head. <laughs> this doesn't have anything to do with those threats I've been getting, does it? Threats? No, absolutely not. Mm -mm. What the heck? I could use the company. Good. You are wearing your flak jacket, right? What? In case you need to take a bullet for me. That's not funny, mister. Uh, I didn't tell him I'm very good. You're not. You shouldn't joke about that. What, what are you looking at? Are you expecting somebody? No, not exactly, but... It's just a question of time before the river rats start working their way to my door. Oh. Come on, you. You're going to get the clients that you want. You'll have the pick of the best of them. Whatever case you want, you'll have it. That's not necessarily true, Lucy. Once people know that I'm really back in business, I had a reputation, you know? Yeah, and that reputation didn't affect Julie's trial. Look, you practice good, hard, stand-up, straight law, and you won. Yeah, well, some people don't think that's such a great victory. Some people? Did I, did I, did I just hear right? Since when... Did you ever care what people thought about you? Since I'm back in partnership with my father. Oh, okay. Well, Lee has managed to put your past behind him and you, and I've managed to put our past behind us. So come on. You can do the same thing. Where did you get all this confidence in me, huh? Well, you know, if you just stick with me and hang around long enough, it might just rub off. Hey. You are an absolutely wonderful attorney, and you will get the clients and your reputation back, just like you deserve. That's on paper, Lucy. 
in the real world, things like that just don't happen. Okay, what do I always tell you? Make the real world whatever you want it to be. I brought an extra cup, just in case. Well, thank you. Thanks for that. You know, where'd you come up with this idea? I thought about everything I lost last year. Your job, your baby. My life. And I want it back. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna prove that I deserve to be a doctor again. How does Chris feel about this? I haven't told him yet. Really? Well, I'm, I'm flattered that you decided to tell me first. I didn't plan it that way. He had to get to work. Anyway, I, uh, I know I... he's going to be behind me. And I hope you are, too. Of course I will be. <gasps> Come. Who do you plan to speak to at the hospital? Well, since Alan Quartermain is back as chief of staff again, I, I suppose I should start by speaking with him. You know, Alan just got his job back. He may not be too eager to pick up a hot potato. But, Rachel, I'm a good doctor, and he knows that. I'm working on getting close to Alan. So why don't you just hold off a little while before you make your move? Do you think it's going to be a battle? Are you up for one? Yes, yes. I refuse to be a victim anymore. Good. Well, then I'll be behind you 100% of the way. But you need to know what you may be stepping into. This could be another legal battle. It could turn into a court case. Well, if it goes that way, I'd feel a lot better about it if Scott were representing me. Well, then that's who we'll get. Uh, he turned me down the last time I asked him for help with my father's estate. I was out of the loop when that happened. Yes, yes, obviously a mistake. Well, not a mistake that can't be corrected. How? Well, let's start out by giving him something small. Small to work with it that's going to get him comfortable with you. I don't know that Scott will ever feel comfortable with me. And you never thought he'd defend you either. Well, that was luck. <laughs> that word, it's, it's not in my vocabulary. Yes, that's right, that's right. Things happen because you make them happen. Yes, yes, that's right, that's right. Can you help me make this happen? Well, there's nothing uh, quite as exciting as a good challenge. So, uh, how did you get Sam to take my car ahead of those three other people? Oh, that was easy. Same way I get him to put just the right amount of starch in your shirts. Charm. Anything else you need me to take care of? Yeah, as a matter of fact, I'd like to put a stop to this. Well, you know what? I have a great idea. How about I call the Chinese takeout place and see if I can get him to put some extra egg rolls in our order? I've got a better idea. I'd like to lose my bodyguard and get my girlfriend back. I'm here. Yes, you are, and you're overreacting again. Overreacting? Mm hmm Huh. You know, I don't seem to recall taking that class in med school. How to overreact to a death threat. What am I supposed to do, Kevin? Laugh it off? Because I don't think it's funny. I don't think anything's funny about it either, especially when you're scared. Look, Scott and Rachel. Let a psychopath go free. One who has a personal vendetta against you. There's no reason why I shouldn't be scared. Eve, it's just that if we stop living our normal lives, whoever is doing this wins. So what, I'm just supposed to ignore it? I don't think so, Kevin. I can't do that. Well, I guess there's nothing left to do, but see if I can help you forget. Kevin. Mm. Oh, mm. Kevin. Now, listen, just work with me here. Worrying has been known to take years off a person's life. We know this is a medical fact, but this, if applied correctly, can be very beneficial to one's health. Little known medical fact, huh? Mm -hmm. Now, you just concentrate. Let your worries fall away. Mm hmm. Well, I think my neck has forgotten. Mm, good. Oh, and it's gone out of my head. Mm. Now, are we done talking about this? Mm, about what? Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know. 
How about celebrating the fact that we just did three weeks worth of errands in one morning? And we'll have a fancy lunch out. Oh, well, whose turn is it to buy? Mine. Okay, we're on. And I promise I won't mention one word about... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What were you going to say again? Oh, it just flew right out of my mind. Mm. Down here. I just got your little sister to sleep. Oh, shh, shh. Show your dad. Show your dad. Show your dad. Daddy, guess what? Let's see. You got an A on your report. How'd you know? I'm psychic. No, you're not mama's. Yeah, okay. Well, I heard you. You probably woke up the stone crabs down in Miami Beach. <laughs> All right, now let me see the report. Here. Do the right thing. Abraham Lincoln, the Emancipation Proclamation. Mm-hmm. He was so cool, everyone kept telling him to wait, but he just went right ahead and freed the slaves. He was a hell of a guy. Heck, heck of a guy. Mm-hmm. Heck of a guy. Okay. He was a heck of a guy. I'm gonna go show this to Aunt Charlene. Okay, come on, give me a hug first. I'm very proud of you. <laughs> Hey, tell Aunt Charlene you can have a marshmallow cream puffy thing, two or three or four of them. You deserve it. Yeah! Wow. Woo! The hero, Abraham Lincoln, freed the slaves and did the right thing. I'm telling you right now, I am not taking on any cases that I don't think are right. I am going to make all my girls proud of me. Well, then all you have to do is just keep doing whatever it is you're doing, because they are very, very proud of you. Okay, well, now, is there anything I can help you with? How can I be of service to you until the reputable clients start knocking on my door? <laughs> okay, you can try. All right, this is what I started out to do. One, Jax, the summer campaign, I, I need to improve it. You know, our Valentine thing wasn't exactly a big hit. And mm. B, I'm trying to plan the christening all at exactly the same time. So things uh, got a little blurred here. Yeah, I think they did. Because you know what I think I just ordered our chemist to do is add the baptismal water to the aromatherapy line. Well, now, I can get back in the fashion business. I got the yellow suit, I got the earring, I'll just clip the hair down and, uh... Or I could help out with the christening. All right, I choose christening. Let me see, I have my... My list is right here, today. Oh, no, today I was supposed to go to the grill and pick out the cake. I can do that. Okay. Now, you know what I think? I think the cake should be sort of a, uh... Like, you know, a water thing. The, the river, the dunking of the baby... Okay, you know, I think maybe I'm gonna go with you because blue. I would like uh, a break and we can go to the grill together and pick out the cake. What do you say? You don't trust me. No, that is not it at all. I just need a break and we can have lunch, adult conversation, Charlene can watch the girls. And no, I absolutely don't trust you one bit. I'll tell Aunt Charlene, okay? Okay. Hey. know that you can get Scott to represent me. Professional expertise. Woman's intuition. <laughs> Did you two start more than a working relationship during my trial? <laughs> well, I, uh, I think we could have if I was able to pry Lucy's claws off of Scott. But no. No, for now, we're just good friends, but time will tell. Well, Chris and I started out as friends. But the one we, we really need to get out of Lucy's claws is Christina. And we will. And, and if Scott were my lawyer, I might be able to spend more time with her. That's exactly what I was thinking. When can we call him? How about right now? Yes, is Scott in, please? Oh, they did? No, no message. Thank you, though. But you better, you better put that pizza down. Why? Scott and Lucy just went to the PC grill. 
I think uh, maybe we should go there for lunch, too. Well, I could get used to this. No phone calls, no distractions. Not a head shrinker or a javelin thrower in sight. I said no distractions. Maybe you could use a drink to loosen up. Good idea. You know, actually, I would order a martini, but I think a Bloody Mary would be more appropriate when you're being stalked by a killer. That's it. Drastic measures are now in effect. Come here. What? <clears throat> oh. Well, this is nice. Oh, man, people are staring at us. Well, maybe that's because I'm just so darn graceful and you're so damn beautiful. Maybe it's because nobody ever dances here. You probably never do this either. <laughs> Hello. Hello. May I help you? Yes, we are here to taste Pierre's little cakes. Ah, uh, please, take a seat. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. The chef will be right out. Sway mode all of a sudden. Pardon? We're not turning. Turn. Oh, great. Psycho at four o'clock. We can leave. No, no. I will not let her disrupt our lives, although I would like to go over there and knock some sense into her. Why don't we just sit down instead and have a nice peaceful lunch? You know, I could take her out with one punch. I have no doubt. <laughs> oh, Lucy? Oh, sorry. Uh, How hot? How are you? <clears throat> Hello. Hi. I uh, don't mean to interrupt, but since we did run into you, could we have a minute of your time? I don't see why not. Good. Uh, Lance Pharmaceuticals. They're trying to withhold money from Julie's patent, and they're trying to force her to renegotiate the contract. Well, that's not right. You should find yourself a good lawyer. Well, I'd like it to be you. I, I don't think so, but I'll give you, uh, you know, a referral. Scott, no one else wants to represent me. Oh. Well, that's, that's bad. You do deserve some sort of representation. Yeah, I, I just want back what's been taken from me. Will you help me, Scott? Let me think about it. Yeah, please, please do that. Think, think about it overnight. Okay. All right. Thank you. Great. Well, you two have a great lunch. So do you think we convinced him? He's going to get on board. Trust me. Hi, Hello. Hi. Oh. The godfather hi, to be. Well, only if he survives to the christening. Oh, ooh, you have the flu. You're sick. No, I'm fine. No. I'm fine. Death threats don't affect him the same way they affect me. Wait a minute. What are you talking about? Death threats? It's no big deal. No, no big deal. Not when somebody breaks into our house and smashes a picture of Kevin. And it's no big deal when he gets an obituary sent to him with his name on it. And, oh, I almost forgot about the shrunken head. Well, that one was a prank. Doc, wait a minute. That doesn't sound like a prank. That sounds like something sick happening here. I, uh... I agree with Lucy here. I think this is a little bit further than a practical joke. Well, some people have bizarre senses of humor. And some people are just bizarre. Max looking into it for us. <sighs> well, uh, do you think somebody's uh, out to get you? There's somebody threatening you? I'll give you a hint. You were just talking to her. Julia. Yep. It's possible. Yes, it is. Possible. Possible, but it's not for sure. I know all I need to know. Excuse me. Uh, listen, um, I don't have to think about this anymore. I'm not going to represent you. But, but, Scott, I no, mean, at uh, least... I, no, I'll help you find somebody, okay? Scott, why don't you think about it a little longer? I don't have to. Should have known. No, you can't do it. Because an LVN can't use a broom without an RN supervising. 
Okay, I'm exaggerating, but just get somebody else. There she is. There's your bud, Mommy to be. Hey, hey you. Guys. <laughs> hey, hello. Hello, hello. Hi. Hey, listen, I need to give you this. Oh. This. Here, you get to ready? Oh, this is for tomorrow. Thank okay, you. you need to read it front to back very carefully. It's going to explain everything that's going to happen tomorrow. Of course, I'm going to start off speaking, you know, and kind of give the welcome and the, the whole format and tell people how sentimental and wonderful christenings are, you know, give them all the mushy stuff, and then the minister speaks next. But I guess you don't really care right now what the minister has to say, huh? I'm sorry. It's just been a busy day, busy week. Hey, listen, I really know. So, how is Neil? Well, he's still fighting the new year. So he's no better, huh? No worse. You know, I think Christina agrees, too. I, I think maybe we should postpone the Christmas. You know, just tell oh, Neil's no, better. No, no, Neil no, no, need no, you, though, no, really. no. Unless it's an emergency, I am going to be there with Bell's on. Or at least an extra. <laughs> well, she's excited. But are you absolutely sure? Yes, I need this. Being Christina's godmother is a wonderful gift. It'll make me feel useful instead of... You know what, let's look, take a look at this. You know, for someone who lost his privileges, Kevin certainly does spend a lot of time here. Oh, well, he's uh, counseling Neil Canellis. Really? I thought we had enough problems with doctors overstepping their authority in that case. He was brought in by Frank and Courtney. I don't care if he was brought in by Bill and Hillary. As long as Neil Canellis is a patient in this hospital, he should be treated by a staff psychiatrist. Hello, Rachel. Hello. Oozing warmth as usual. And here, I was about to ask her to join us on our next ski weekend. You know, I wonder what she would say if she knew her star patient was sending you death threats. I'm going to go check in on Neil. I'll go with you. I want to check in on him, too. Actually, I don't need a bodyguard. Mac's on the case. Well, until Mac can find a way to get Julie back in jail, I'm not happy. Relax. I'm fine. And, um... See what I can do about that not being happy thing later. Mm. I'll meet you back here. Julie? Oh, I'm sorry. I don't have an appointment, and if you're busy, I'll wait. It's just I know. Oh, no, no, no. No, please come in. What's wrong? Kevin turned Scott against me this afternoon. I know he did. Why don't you have a seat? You know, he is the reason that Scott won't represent me. And, and Rachel, I have tried to let it go. You know, maybe, uh, maybe you've tried too hard. You can't deny the way you feel, but if you feel this strongly about him, it's something we definitely need to talk out. No, you, you don't get it. This isn't about my feelings or how much I hate him. He won't back off, Rachel. And what am I going to do? It's only a matter of time until he knows. Oh, until he knows what? That Christina is my baby. And what's the little missus up to all by her lonesome? Well, she's probably home planning a late supper. So if this is your way of asking if we'll join you and Kevin for dinner. <laughs> yeah, right. And why don't you invite Rachel, too, while you're at it? And then we can all go back to your place for a nice rousing game of Jenga. You know, that game where you stack up all the bricks? Hmm, that's funny. Still haven't forgiven Julie, have you? Well, and I can't forget her either, no matter how hard I try. Well, maybe you could start by not obsessing over how we're spending our evenings. I mean, seriously, what's your deal? Look, Ramsey, if you can tell me, honestly, that the little missus is at your house right now baking you up a tray of chocolate chip cookies, then I wouldn't have to worry oh, that she is out-stalking Kevin. Eve, Eve. She's not in love with Kevin, but neither am I. And you don't see me following him around. Kevin's getting threats. What kind of threats? He found a shrunken head in his coat pocket. And someone sent him an obituary with his name on it. 
Well, that's crazy. Exactly my point. Look, no matter what you want to believe, my wife has better things to do than uh, stalk your boyfriend. Yeah, well, you don't know what she does every minute that you're not around, do you? <sighs> this is the stupidest conversation I have ever had. Okay, you're right. Is that what you want to hear? I don't know what Julie's doing every second of every day, but I don't have to worry about it because I trust her. Oh, Ramsey, you used to have an edge on you so sharp nothing could get past you, but now I think you're asleep at the wheel. I'm out of here. You better wake up before it's too late. Goodbye, Eve. I'm serious. Every time I see Kevin, he gives me this, this look of superiority. Like he's letting me know that he is watching me, waiting for me to make a mistake. Are you afraid you might? I feel like he's trying to, to bait me, get me to slip up somehow, and I could lose everything. I could lose Christina because of him. Well, then don't give him the power. Doctors are notorious for their egos. I mean, Kevin thought he was the one person in this entire world that could save you from what you were. You mean what everyone thought I was? Exactly. And when Kevin was denied that chance, he tried to convince anyone who would listen that you were incapable of being saved. And he is still trying. He can't hurt you, Julie. Not unless you let him. You're in charge of your own life now. When I'm here with you, it seems so easy. But I get, I get all flustered and, and frustrated when I see him. I, I just, I forget what's important. What you need to forget is Kevin. Focus on you, Julie, on all the wonderful things that have been happening. Just tell yourself, this is a fresh start. That you can have anything you want, including Christina. I know. I know, it's just... What? It'd be so much easier if Kevin weren't around. Kevin, what's up? I'm impressed. You work fast. Yeah, can't get eight down, though. Oh, you'll figure that one out. Maybe if I had a hint? Well, I'll tell you what. If you can figure out five across on your own, I'll give you a lead for eight down. Deal? Deal. But, but maybe later, okay? I'm feeling kind of tired. I'll be back. Promise? Jedi Knight's honor. He's formed a very strong attachment to you, hasn't he? Yeah. Actually, I think it's the other way around. Oh, no. You've been able to get through to him when no one else around here could. People here are amazed, but not I. I've seen you do it before. Do what? Make contact. The way you get inside people, and feel what they feel. That, that kind of sensitivity is... It's a very rare gift. Doesn't mean that you can help people, even if you know what they're feeling. That's the other thing. You never give up. I don't know where you get that kind of determination. But... You tell me. Because I've run out of answers. I spent my whole life fighting battles of one sort or another. And the hardest thing I know is watching a young child so close to death. I promised Frank Courtney that I'd keep an eye on Neil when they got something to eat, if you'll excuse me. I'll see you later. I, uh... I already heard that you've been given dispensation. I guess you think that was a mistake. Not if spending time with Neil helps him. I knew he'd be in for a rough ride, but... It's hard to watch, isn't it? Okay, tell me. If you had to do it over again, would you go ahead with the transplant? Gave him a second chance. So 
Only thing is, is it enough? Not for what it's worth. You've already given more to Neil in the short time you've known him than most parents do in a lifetime. Oh, hey. Uh, Victor said you went to get a bite to eat, so I was just looking in on Neil. Well, it, it seems he, he slept a lot better last night after you went to see him. Really? That's good. Good to hear. Yeah, it's... Uh... It's okay, it's okay with us if, if you want to see him again. Thanks. That, that means that I'll do that. Well, I'm sure you want to spend some time with him, so I'll see you guys. Yeah. <clears throat> you realize what just happened? He, uh, he wants to meet us halfway. I'm, I'm just afraid it may not be enough anymore. We've increased Neil's immunosuppressants. I thought you'd want to know. How much time left on the azithromycin? A few days. What's his hematopoietic status? It's too early to say anything. White cell count? He isn't better, Joe. Well, Karen. We, we are doing everything possible. I know you are. I know. Okay, I, I, I'll, I'll see you later. Would you page Dr. Ramsey to the sixth floor lounge? Sure. I have nothing better to do. I'm going to get something to drink. I'll be back in a few minutes. Dr. Ramsey. Hey, you. Perfect timing. I've been looking all over for you. Hello to you, and hello to you, too. I just came by to check on Neil. I know I could tell by the look on your face. It's obvious. Well, I happen to know your face. And also, I recognize the look of care and concern and sort of this glow of inspiration. I haven't seen that look in quite a while. Wow, that's some look. <laughs> I guess Neil has that effect on me. In fact, I even came up with a reading for tomorrow. You did? Oh, Doc. Well, it was either that or 157 Pokemon cards. <laughs> hey, you know what? You are going to be an absolutely perfect godfather. Thank you. Your face in me is touching. I think your impressions need a little... Bit of work, though. Oh, I don't know. I think you do a great Don Corleone. You know, I was just wondering where my personal bodyguard ran off to. You should consider yourself lucky that she's even letting me show up tomorrow without an arm guard. Hey, somebody has to keep an eye on you. Wait just a minute. Are you telling me you're getting some more of those threats? Well, not in the last couple of days, so I suppose Julie's been busy threatening someone else. I, you know, I don't know. I don't know if Julie would risk her freedom like that just to, to get back at Kevin. I think so. Well, it's a possibility. Uh, okay. But I, I don't know. Maybe she's trying, you know. I don't think she wants to go back in there. She wouldn't risk her freedom like that. I, I just don't believe that. Lucy, you think what you want to think. Just keep her away from Kevin, okay? You ready to go? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, wait. Most important thing, I almost forgot. You need this for tomorrow. Study it. Study it? <laughs> well, oh, when to sit, when to stand. What would I do without you? Well, what would Christina do without you? Well, after tomorrow, she won't have to find out. You're right. I'll see you then. Okay, I'll see you then. Ta. Ta. I just have to drop some of this paperwork off. All right. Lucy, hi. Christina. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh, is that a tooth that I see coming in? Yep, it's her very first tooth. It's, it's nice seeing you, Julie. We gotta go. Well, it, it's not that late, is it? Um, my treat, if you'd like a cup of coffee. Oh, uh, well, thank you. We can't. We really have to get home. You know, tomorrow's a big day for Christina. It's her christening and all, so... Oh, right, right. How nice. Yes, it's, it's very exciting. She needs her beauty rest. You know, we're still picking her dress, so there's just so much to do. Some other time. Yeah, some other time then. Sure. Right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Ta. Bye. Ready to go? Oh, I'm ready, all right. Okay. Just fine. So ends this chronicle. It being strictly a history of a boy, it must stop here. The story could not go much further without becoming the history of a man.
I'm sorry it's over. Yeah, um, well, he kind of missed a few chapters, honey. Did they ever paint the fence? They, they sure did. Maybe you could go back and read that part again. Sure, of course. Um, I'll read the whole thing again so you, you won't have missed any of it, okay? Okay. Okay. And, Mom, if you could get me a little juice. I'm kind of thirsty. I think we can manage that. Karen, look at him. His eyes, his color, he, he seems better, doesn't he? Well, how about I take a closer look, if you two wouldn't mind giving me a couple of minutes alone with this handsome young man? Okay. I'll, I'll be back as soon as she's done, okay? He, he does seem better, doesn't he? I mean, it wasn't just me. You saw it, saw it too, right? Yeah. I saw it too. for your big part tomorrow? Oh, yes, but it turns out there's not a whole lot to study. It seems that all this Godfather stuff pretty much comes from here. Oh, that's sweet. But are you sure Lucy doesn't want you to hold, like, some crystals over Christina's head or do some druid chants or something? No, this is pretty tame for Lucy. You, on the other hand. What? I'm, I am trying to relax. I can I'm... tell. I can tell. In fact, it was a whole three minutes before you came back from the kitchen to see if I was still alive. Am I getting on your nerves? Well, I cannot tell a lie. But I also have to admit it's awfully cute coming from you. Kevin, I know that you think I'm overreacting. But I... I just... I don't want to lose you. Do I look like I'm going anywhere? Don't you know me better than that by now? Kevin has finally done it. Now Lucy hates me, too. How does that make you feel? Feel? It makes me feel angry. So, so angry. I, I could kill him. Then why don't you? What? You've killed before. Why not kill again? No, I, I couldn't. I, I didn't. Of course you did. You know it. I know it. You killed all those people. I never killed anyone. Well, maybe the jury bought that story, but I sure didn't. I treated you for months. You're a cold-blooded killer if I ever saw one. You may as well fess up to it. Because there's not a court in the world that will give this beautiful little baby to a killer. She is my daughter. Well, you still can't have her. You're not going to stop me from getting her back. What are you going to do about it? Kill me? If I have to! Yeah. I don't know. I, I, I dreamt. What? No, I, I can't. I can't. I just... Tell me. It's okay. I can't. Don't you even tell me anything. What if I told you that I dreamt I was a murderer? It's a dream, Charlie. That's all it was. No, I'm not so sure anymore. In my dream, I I could have done it. I felt it in me. And what if that's true? What if what if it's true and, and I didn't really remember everything that happened when I was with Cooper? What if I did kill those people? His lungs sound better, and his oxygen saturation is back in the low 90s. Which means the pneumonia's going away, right? Well, his breathing is easier, and that's a good sign. <laughs> I, I knew it. I knew it. Uh, so, um, the, the transplant, it, it worked. 
Neil is definitely improving, and that's a reason to celebrate, but he still has a long way to go. Oh, we know. Okay. Well, I have to go to Christina's christening, but I'll have my pager in case you need anything. All right. Well, thanks. Thank you. Yeah. Dr. Reitzel. His lungs are clearing up, and pneumonia's on its way out. Thanks. It's nice to finally have some positive news to share. Yes. Listen, I'm on my way to the christening. Would you like a ride? Oh, no, 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 thanks. It was nice of Scott and Lucy to include me, but I think I'm gonna pass. Okay. Well, you'll be missed. Absolutely gorgeous. I mean, it's a little traditional, you know, conservative for my taste, but it's what we wanted. And look at the flowers. Absolutely gorgeous. What do you think? They're beautiful, aren't they? Hmm? I don't know. I can't seem to take my eyes off of you. Oh, are you guys going to be all lovey-dovey gross all day? Uh, um, yep, 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 yep. Brother. <laughs> hey, you know what this day's about? <laughs> oh, bless you, bless you, bless you. See, forget oh. that dunking stuff, huh? This day is about you. This is your day, Christina. Bless you. <laughs> bless you, bless you, bless you. Hey, Dad, when are we going to dunk the kid? Well, you see, the dunking, that's what I thought. That's what I wanted oh. to do, but it had to be in a creek. Uh, so I don't know. No, if she's sneezing now, if she dunks... Oh, you, let's ask the minister what happens first, okay? Come on. Wow, I've never been to a christening before. I have, but never as a godfather. Oh, you're going to be a great godfather. What are you doing? Well, it's just in honor of your first christening. Just, just, what do you think you're doing? Are you nuts? Put this back. You're kidding, right? I mean, besides the big guy up there, who's ever going to notice it's missing? It's not the big guy I'm worried about. It's the wrath of Lucy. There. Come on, let's go see Christina. Lead the way. Mm -hmm. So this should be rather sweet today, don't you think? Oh. Yeah. and I kept it low-key per orders, so it, we wanted to be special for her. <laughs> oh, oh and look at you. Look at you and an angel. You are. <laughs> she looks very comfortable in your arms. Well, women adore me. Oh, oh. Hi, everyone. Hi. Sorry if we're late. That was with Neil. Oh. Sorry, How is he? Well, his pneumonia's improving. His breathing's easier, even his color's returning. Oh, great. Oh, that one tough kid. Good. So Christina's yeah. bone marrow's working. Well, we're not sure yet, but any improvement's a good sign. Well, amen to that. <laughs> but, you know, I'm new at this, so what exactly is a naming ceremony? Well, that's where we say Christina's full name for the first time. Yeah, uh, I'll give you a hand. Don't okay. Ah, 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 ah. Mum's the word. May we get this thing going? <laughs> Come here, you okay. look fine. Oh, you're oh, oh, you're 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 oh
for they have their own thoughts. You may house their bodies, but not their souls, for their souls dwell in the house of tomorrow, which you cannot visit, not even in your dreams. You may strive to be like them, but seek not to make them like you, for life goes not backward, nor tarries with yesterday. Will the grandparents please join us? You are both so very special to us. When I chose a middle name for Serena, I chose Lee because I wanted her to have the honesty and the wisdom that you have. And now it's time for a middle name for Christina. Yes, and so... Uh, okay. <laughs> we wanted Christina to have the same generosity and compassion and beauty of spirit that her namesake has. So, everyone, please, I want you to meet Christina Gale Baldwin. Thank you. We love you, honey. We love you, too. <laughs> well, now, Christina has another grandparent, and I, I guess, in the real word, grandparent, Aunt Charlene's not, but she's always been a mother to me. And Aunt Charlene, I'd really like you to come up here right now. Bad, honey. This is right. This is exactly right. This is where we should be right at this moment. You have guided me all my life, and you guided me through my first steps. And Christina has been given to me to guide her through her life. It's a wonderful journey, honey. So, I would like you to take Christina and touch her feet to the ground to symbolize her first step taken in the right direction, guided by you. Oh, <laughs> Here you go. Here you go. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> big steps. Just take big steps. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Christina, she's she's done so much for Neil and and she can't even understand any of it. She will one day. You know, her christening should be starting about now. Hmm. I remember the day Neil was christened. We had a Greek Orthodox ceremony. The Canals has insisted on it. And there were, there were all these people there, and... Boy, I didn't know anybody. So I just held on to my baby. I felt so close to him. And we both, we both just cried through the whole thing. <laughs> I wish I could have been there. Well, there are a lot of things you should have been there to see. Well, I'm here now, but he needs me. Yes, you are. Kevin, Karen, as Christina's godparents, do you agree to protect the emotional, <laughs> spiritual, and physical well-being of this child? <laughs> I do. I do. Please, dip your hands in the baptismal water and place them on Christina's forehead. <laughs> <laughs> I baptize you, Christina Gail Baldwin, into God's family and into the communal family of your loved ones. <laughs> oh. okay. Come here, you. Come here, Christina Gail Baldwin. Hey, hey, hey. Come here. You. Okay. Okay. Serena, it's your turn. Okay, sweet. Come on. Come on.
giggles, sharing them secrets too. Christina Gilbaugh's when we welcome you. Brothers, sisters everywhere, come and play. Celebrate this It's the nurse's station on Neil's floor. Now, please Should we tell Karen? No, it's not a 911. I'll be right back. My baby okay. sister to the end. Giggle, share. Hey, the guy who suspended, you sure hang out here a lot. But your hands kind of full keeping tabs on your own life, Ramsey? Easy, man. Just kidding. Hmm. Hey, old joke. How's Neil? Any changes? Pneumonia subsiding. He's less dyspneic. It's great. Could be a sign the bone marrow's working. Well, we'll see. I gotta go. You going to the uh, Baldwin christening? No. Do you have any idea when that, uh, that ends? Why, Chris? I just wanted to talk to Karen about the patient, you know. Wonder when she'd be back. Sorry, I can't help you. Kind of out of the ball one loop these days, all right? I'll see you later. All right. Take care. Rachel. Hey. Is Julie still here? She never showed up. What? I tried calling at your place on her cell phone. She never got back to me. You want to tell me what's going on? She had a nightmare, okay? Did she tell you about it? Yeah, she was concerned whether or not she was actually the general homicide killer. You know. Do you have any idea what might have prompted it? She was upset, Rachel. About? Chris, come on, I can see that you're worried. I can't help you if you don't tell me what happened. But Kevin, being Christina's godfather, hit her pretty hard. Okay. Okay, so she's angry about Kevin being connected to Christina. And then she has a dream that she may actually be a murderer. And today is Christina's christening, and Julie is nowhere to be found. This is definitely not a coincidence. I gotta find her. You've all brought gifts for Christina today. Those gifts will be placed in this sacred bag and given to her to have for the rest of her life. Oh, come on. technology, my... In this bottle is water. We give it as a symbol of purity and serenity. Our wish for Christina is to have a life filled with goodness, purity, truth, and safety. Uh, can I help you? Uh, yeah, actually, I can't seem to get a signal in here. Is there a payphone somewhere? Uh, yes, right down there. Great, thank you. Yes. This diamond, <laughs> yes, is an unbreakable stone. Much like the bond between sisters. Oh. We hope we can teach our little sister right from wrong. And guide her, support her dreams, and never let her get hurt. This satchel contains seeds, and the seeds represent the seeds of life. And we give these to our daughter to make sure that her roots grow strong and deep, and that Christina grows tall, brave, and proud. 